the heat here in Houston, one of the most popular places to be this summer is, of course, the pool. But for some, it's not all fun and games in the water. And if your eyes turn red after swimming in a swimming pool or at a water park, the chlorine may not be the culprit. Channel 2's Rachel McNeil takes a look at the problem a lot of people are facing. When the head of the CDC's Healthy Swimming Program shared some insight into swimming pools, he opened a lot of eyes. This campaign shows the smell of what many people think is chlorine is actually the smell of chemicals as the chlorine mixes with the pee, poop, sweat and dirt. Yuck, and the eyes can show it. It causes extreme dryness to the eyes and also the chemicals cause a chemical allergy to the eye. Optometrist Mel Garrick says he sees a lot of red eyes this time of year, but it's not always the pool to blame. The main two causes of red eyes most of the time and more during the summer is dry eyes and allergy eyes. Summer allergens, Dr. Garrick says we have them year round in the deep south. Uh, it usually comes in three to four times every time we see a change in, change in leaves and a new growing, sign, new growing time. October is a bad time, June's, uh, May and June is a bad time. So what about the pool water? How can you know that it's not going to burn your eyes or turn them red? The CDC says healthy pools and water parks don't have a strong chemical smell. Dr. Garrick says he trusts that if pH and disinfectant levels are appropriate, the pee and poo chemical mix won't be as problematic. Hopefully not. I, I mean, probably more, more fiction than fact. The chlorine kind of does it all for it, plus there's not enough. If you are going swimming, add goggles to your swimming attire. Dr. Garrick says artificial tears with lubrication can ease any allergic irritation. Rachel McNeil, KPRC Channel 2 News. Yeah, the CDC recommends that you ask to see a pool's inspection results if you're concerned about its safety. If you own a pool, use those test strips to check chemical levels. And if you have a child in a swimmy diaper or swim pants, be aware that those do not stop germs from getting into the water. As Britta just told us, they do not in a big way. Mm -hmm. Okay.